nice, the water should be absolutely clear. You can see now how white is the water. It's because this is the first one and the rice has so much starch. So we're gonna let it sit and then we'll repeat this three times and our rice will be ready for the Oshpelau dish. I already got ready with our chicken pieces and now we are going to cook the chicken just to brown them a little bit on each side, probably five minutes on each side, and then we'll remove them. So all I'm doing now, I am adding the chicken pieces so that they can brown five minutes on each side. Our chicken browns nicely. It's time for us to take it out of the pan and set it aside for now. To the pan, I am adding one large onion that I already chopped. Great. And we're cooking it with the same oil. So now the onion is flavored with the oil from the meat, from the chicken. We're gonna let it cook to become a little caramelized and then we're gonna put back the meat. Our onion browned nice. Our next step is we are going to return the pieces of chicken to our pan. And to this, I'm going to add half cup of water. And make sure to check below this video. I will put the whole recipe for you with all the details. We're also adding one cup of garbanzo beans, cooked garbanzo beans, that is. I have here carrot and seven garlic cloves. Pay attention to this. Seven garlic cloves and you do not chop them. You just put them whole as they are. So, carrots and garlic cloves. I'm gonna add salt. Remember the spice mix that I put in my food processor? It's ready for us. Oh, it smells beautiful. And we are adding all our spice mix that we grinded to the dish. Oh, I smell the aroma. That's beautiful. Give it a little mix just like that to make sure that the spices are blending with the liquid. And that's it. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna simmer it for 30 minutes now. That's it, my friends. We are ready now for the last step of making the Ushpelau, the Bukhara main dish. So, so our Ushpelau has been cooking for 30 minutes on simmer and we are ready to add the last ingredient. Remember the rice? So this is how it looks after three times replacing the water. The water is really clear, there's no starch, and I am adding the rice on top of the meat and vegetables. I'm also adding half cup of water and we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to simmer it for another 35 minutes and our dish is ready. 